Good morning, or whatever it is, wherever you are. <clears throat> we actually caught this track right about the end here. So last time <clears throat> we got the UI in to edit and persist the per game well, bonus rankings. And I've done some work to get the rankings for these tags. Well, not sorry that one, but... Although I guess... I mean, you know, I've done some partial matching on tags so far. Doing this database is essentially going to mean... We're going to be ranking individual tags and doing a straight-up string match. Also, say you can define rules for substrings, but that won't have as nice of an interface, I don't think. So now that we've got the infrastructure in place to do this sort of modal switch, probably would want to go ahead and add that so that we've got a place to put all the rest of the UI code we're going to make for this. So that is an enumeration in the views. Uh, so games view, game view. <clears throat> Tags view model equals. Uh, what should we have here? Uh, let's say single. <laughs> we actually already do have, I believe, scored tags. So if we take scored tags, well, no, actually... I could use this as a stand-in for now. Actually, this is a dict string float. So this is actually going to sort by tag. Uh, mm. Oh, right, because it's <clears throat> it's actually keyed. Uh, keyed you well. <clears throat> Can we just temporarily put... to get something in here. <laughs> ah. There's going to be all kinds of other problems that, that like we haven't Oh, I guess there's nothing else that's exhaustive in that set of Well, my headers, yeah, was not any kind of iteration. If 
Okay, so that can send, all right, because it's just a data item. Okay, actually don't need any special handling for that yet. So those are the ones that I've defined some form of, and so a lot of these are like rule based on this. Uh, a lot of them are wild cards. So I have to go through and actually re-rank that. What we really want for this, though, in our view, is not that. Uh, probably hostable, or we do tag, yeah, something like that. Something like that. <clears throat> yeah. Users can cat map tags. Uh, we're not using the scores yet. Should just be a straight up list sort, I think. Uh, and then list.map tagged there. Oh, model I users. Oh, list. So you have to be dictate values. There we go. And I should probably, for the time being, set my initial mode. Uh, to tag scores. Oh, we need to do a distinct pass on this. Uh, 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 package. Clean repeat range. Oh no, the way we do this is probably to make it a set. And then convert it back. Set that from list, set that to list. Uh, set dot from list, set dot to list. We could see if that even ends up sorting it. You nope. have to import set. Yep, wrong page. Uh, that looks like it might be sorting. Ooh, I found some typos too. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, oh, we are in the view. Uh, tags view. 
We shouldn't need that. <sighs> Alright, so now we want to make this... Is this going to be too much more involved in this? Well, I mean, we're gonna, we might get into invapoxes and things. So, tag view... We're gonna need some stuff from the model. It might only be like one thing from it. We can, we can potentially see about getting that lay out later. Uh, Eli, I don't know if we're doing anything there yet. <coughs> The most basic thing is to do the text. Oh, this is not itself a mapped function. It's partially applied. Okay, that's the same. So now, We need to see uh, model dot scored tags, uh, which is actually going to be a dict dot get. Tag in model dot scored tags. It's going to be a maybe. That's going to be a float. I'm debating whether to do a case or a, or maybe operators. Just score. Uh, oh, well, for one. And we're going to have to go in general over how we do all this stuff. It is going to be a text of a string dot from float score. It's going to technically give us an extra space there. And this is where... <clears throat> we're going to want to borrow... Some of this...
Now that is a div. This might be more of a span in this case. Oh. But they were positioned within boxes before. Oh, that's right. We moved it out to a separate file. Yeah. Is that the only one of these? Right, because it was viewers before. They're all scores. Uh, I am trying to make a system so that I can add a little bit of extra ranking to my list of hostable people. Uh, in such a way that somebody else could potentially configure it differently for themselves. So I've got this thing that's using a completely programmatic uh, assignment, which is nice because you can do some wildcard matching. But it it's code, so you'd have to you can't really easily easily modify it. Uh, well, this isn't Twitch. This is just, well, it's an app using bits of the Twitch API, and they make the API available so people can build stuff on top of it. All right, so we've got something here. Ah. Yeah. And it looks like somebody somehow got a blank tag. Uh, I could probably actually... Okay, cool. I could probably actually fix that in the data file. Uh, oh, no, wait, I'm not putting this in the data file yet. <laughs> that's, a, that's a project for later today. Yeah, I feel like Ruffalo's recently, he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, <clears throat> so displaying anything here is a step. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably be doing that for a little bit. It's fine. I leave that temporary thing in. Uh, display list of all tags with scores were assigned. So now we need something like
Yeah, so we're going to have to have a selected tag. Ooh, we already have something like, well, we have comment. So I guess... I could use tags and comments, even though they're kind of the same thing and kind of not. Uh, select tag, which is just the thing itself. And that comes in So this is like we do the entire thing. That is the rest of the stuff. And then this is all that. And then we have another close to wrap up the anchor. And then eventually we'll also have to switch off based on whether it's selected. It'll probably make you styled as a link. Nope. Oh yes, we have to define that. What the, what the, what does it mean when the, we get this message? So update. Uh, probably gonna look a little bit like this. Tag. Uh, what do we have selected currently? Select the user. Yeah, that's a user tag. <clears throat> Just why the wording gets weird. It's like they're kind of the same thing. I guess one would be like a user comment, it would be a comment if we tried to unify that terminology. Doesn't exist yet. Ah, and then init needs to also have that field filled in. And there's not currently any way to get out of this mode. Which doesn't do anything yet. I may actually want to change some of the decoration on this and display it more like the tags in the main view. In fact, that's probably somebody putting put in the right classes on it. Uh, style, I've been calling these comments before. Oh, but these are all inline block. So yeah. I don't... I mean, maybe I could do that. (laughs) 
Well, it definitely doesn't look good with the link coloring. There's also some interesting padding things going on. Uh... Okay, there is a color override. But we specifically have to override the fact that it's a clickable thing. No, we have to get all the individual states. Uh, what's controlling this right now? A link, A visited. I wish it would say what? This it says it's controlling, but it's not. <laughs> Uh, comments. Uh, so we have active, uh, comments. I mean, none of them are going to be, well, maybe it is visited. Because I have done localhost page. Our anchor page. Yeah, okay, so that's actually that. Now we might still... No, no. I mean, maybe if we got down... Okay. So that's actually sufficient. The underline is actually kind of distracting here. Because I just all have it. Okay, but it's defined as a selectable thing. And then what is this initial indent here? Okay, that's that. Oh, that's the actual blank item. Okay. Which is a data issue I have to figure out somewhere. All right, so that is serviceable. Now, uh, so we did, this is providing the list, list item. So this is going to be Uh, our text. And then the input. Edit tag score, edit tag score. Uh, 
this is actually where we have to get into, well, no, we've got it down here. Yeah, maybe. With default, string from float. Non blur, uh, except now we have to have an update. Which has to be defined message. And then we have to handle that message. Uh, tag score, selected tag, <coughs> uh, scored tags. Uh, update tag score, model dot score tags, okay, string float, stick string, Float, dict string float, tag, scored tags, tag, maybe map, tags, uh, scored tags. This was a game. This is the value of that key. Where we have both the game might or might not exist and it might or might not have a value. This is going to be a maybe. Where I think we actually ignore the. Just gonna be addicted. Um. No, because the update can also remove things. So map don't care on to if the score nothing else just score. We could technically do this one always, but that should be fine. All right, so we actually left a game in, uh, ID in view. Oh, yeah. Uh, a tag. This must be hostable. It was a maybe map. Well, I have to be an end then. Because we do have to produce an actual nothing here. A 
Oh, actually, I guess this, this thing could just be a, uh, actually, we don't technically need the end then there. Because that was, yeah, because that's the internal value. This is just maybe value. We don't, we, we still don't care. Uh, and then we want to edit the style of that a little bit. All right, that stays in... Well, none of this is persisted yet, but we can edit it. Style, uh, edit, game score... Uh, this is pretty much going to be the same as... Edit tag score. Let's just style, so to recompile. Oops. Pardon. Oh, yeah, this is not the same. Okay. Game, game, game. It's padding, 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 no position width. That's a little bit more reasonable. So that is something. And then we can add this uh, as a one. It won't be there if we start modifying it. We do have a score there. So that seems basically serviceable and it goes back as well right yes basically serviceable as a UI I mean it's crude but it works uh, this doesn't allow me to directly like Hypofix tags. That might be a useful thing to have in here at some point. But the main thing right now is we need a way to edit our scoring system. And I think... We've got what we need to do that. Uh, edit mode for tag scores. Okay, so I am going to take a short break and then come back to work on... We want to save these scores both to browser local storage and then to our export format so it can be moved between browsers and such. I'll be back in a few minutes. So supposedly they have turned off some of the um, debug tracking. Now it, it's still a recently loaded game so it might not be visible in the jobs panel but oh vacant position that's new
it does seem to be scrolling much better now. Show him our dedication to service. Oh. You, you. It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. Two seconds. Motherfucker has done so much damage. One second. Oh man, I have to ban half her stuff. It's a thing that allows you to convert polluted water into regular water. So this big pool of pee water, basically, is what we use for the main water of our base when necessary. We do have three coal generators here as backups. We're only down to nine tons of coal. I actually didn't have a natural gas geyser that I could find on this map. I explored the whole map like crazy, desperately looking for a natural gas geyser. Was it? Mm, okay. Well... Let's see what happens with this. Bye, baby. So... Okay, so you can empty water into it as well. So does it... I, I'm inside the ground right now. I'm down here. This is where I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh my god. How do, how do I... <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We're ready to go explore the planet now. <laughs> oh, shit. This is all... Hi, time. If I were a steak, I'd be right in front of me. Okay, well, welcome back. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got at least a serviceable UI for this. But, well, the data is also still being stubbed by function. So we need some way to persist the scores we're attaching to these. I believe we'll do... Local storage first, and then that should be an easy extension to putting it in the export file. So, persist. Yeah, for storage, we store that. Uh... Well, yeah, the storage of that can still be a dick. <clears throat> uh, these are just lists.
This is just a simple type right now. So maybe we just keep it a simple type. Now, since we're pulling these out as keys from JSON objects, we should actually be able to reorder this without any major trauma. And I guess that these are technically scored tags. Although, I mean, the games in one case are only scored games. That means more consistency with the other stuff. So now our encode and decodes are all going to be messed up. So you need to do scored tags. Uh, ooh, you've got a <coughs> specific <laughs> encoder function for this. Oh, because you are actually Right, the object we're dealing with, the actual serialization, <laughs> actually, we, there's no dict stuff for that in base elm, is there? Uh, I guess that, well, no, we're looking at encode. Swing and float, bool, null, array, object. Oh, there is a specific dict. Okay. So, dict. Uh, encode dot encode encode dot dict okay <clears throat> then it's two encoders in the entire dictionary wait encoder oh no just Right, because it's technically a comparable, not a string. And then a proper encoder. And then the dictionary. So then we just have to deal with decode, which is going to need four arguments now. <laughs> Oh, you know what I did that I shouldn't have done yet? Uh, <clears throat> no, persist. Uh, I put it in here, even though we're not really dealing with the export format yet. Uh, so decode. <clears throat> Map four, it is an optional thing. because it doesn't exist right now. Now, does decode have a dict? Well, apparently it does, because we're calling something here. Cut a JSON object into an Elm dict. Now, this is a dict with the decoder, this might be float as the value of it. I 
Now we're still going to have hostable. But no, it still doesn't like to put into code. I probably left out a parenthesis here. Yes, and then hostable where we actually prepare the persist instance. <clears throat> yeah, so these were dicks just for a quick lookup, but this is actually data. Model.scored tags. Okay, that compiles. Uh, now we actually have to restore this data. Uh, loaded, I think. So this has been providing the dummy data. Uh, I mean, I think that's just... Straight up reload. Oh, but we didn't boot. Yeah, we need to bootstrap this a bit. Or it would be convenient to bootstrap it. Uh, now we need to do something that would cause a persist event. Okay, now that's saved. So that's step one. Uh, well, we'll take a step. The next step might be very, very small. That was actually pretty small. Thanks to the dictionary encoder decoders. Uh, save tag scores in local storage. So now persist, we take this and also put it in our export. So then we need to do our encoder and decoder for export needs to include this as a thing that might happen. And then hostable has to uh, import it if we did that. And export. Oh, that's right. That actually happens in the view because we're turning it into a base64 string. Uh, and this is just model.scored tags. Uh, encode. Oh, do we have... Oh, yep, 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 yep. Persist versus encode as our object. Alright, so now if we export that uh, give me we should see scored tags Okay, only the ones with scores. And if I bring up 
this. in another browser. Then we import our data. So now we should not need, oh please, tag ranks, rank tags, What, where are we getting the L from? I think my L is just a little crazy. I know it was doubling for a while. Uh, is this, yeah, okay. Okay, that was Significantly less painful than um, the game scores. Uh, export and import tag scores. <coughs> and then when I init. And this should actually be the default view. <laughs> Reset uh, default view to streams. So one thing we could do is see if we can spot the, yeah, the blank tag. And if we go to tags, yeah, there's not that little indent thing anymore. Uh, I also noticed that there was like some K PBS Oop. There were a lot of them actually. Per bit second. Wow. Okay. Uh, we have some disagreement about big K or little K. Whatever. Although both of them ended up getting scores. <laughs> oh, this one should actually be converted because it's not doubled. Now that might be a little bit more interesting. Because it's still stored. Well, there might still be some storage in the local storage. All right, there might still be some other weird cases, but 
so other data fixes we can put off. So actually, that was like the main thing I wanted to do today. As we added this like tab, we, we'd created the in-memory structure for this earlier and then assigned it with the function. And we just kind of reused a bunch of stuff from the games and other places to handle all the state transitions. So it was, I mean, I got started late, so it was kind of an hour to put in this entire interface. Is there anything else? Uh, that I wanted to do on here. Festival. We have some sort of sorting method. Uh, well, I'll need to refine. I'll try refining my rankings. See if I can get it to a point where the top entry is actually what I would choose to host. Oh, one thing is that I'm kind of modal in that since I program in the mornings, I'll tend to host the people programming during that time. That's as much of a design problem as anything. That could be a simple science or technology filter. In or out, depending on time of day. Well, or just a thing you select. It could be using two different sets of game filters. I really don't know how to handle that one from a UI perspective. Yeah, that was, yeah, I just feel like that's short, but I don't really have anything queued up that, else that I, that I want to work on. So, much as I hate to do it short, it's uh might have to call it there. Uh, uh, you can go there. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Two Left for to Cry, Gamer Siren, Dog and Lake, Crook, Sunni, Stremia, Slipper, Dead Mix Game, Destructively Phased, Deadly Taco, Osirat Gaming, Instant Speed Live, Raffalos, and Haskin TV for hosting me. Uh, let's see, is our schedule working today? Uh, get this off for next time. Yes, it is. So, yeah, it's a little bit early for me. I guess I have cut off early before when there were similar situations. Uh, it's getting kind of chilly, so might actually be getting back to dancing at this time one of these days soon. Uh, oh, Hostable's actually over here. Uh, so we've got some gaming... I mean, you know, this guy's either either helping people out or he's kind of silently programming his own stuff. Uh, I think. Uh, 
Uh, actually, this little screenshot probably indicates either a starting or an ending. And actually, judging by this, it's probably an ending. Uh, and actually, this looks like it's probably just starting. So, yeah, I think I ended up posting to her a fair bit just because the schedules work out. Uh, she is, you know, making a MOBA, as it says, and often talking to problems and other things. So if we're someplace cool to hang out, that's someplace cool to hang out. Thanks for hanging out with me, and until next time.